Guys, drop the video like because we are going to accept the England national job. We have finally gone into the international career. We are going to go the England side. The reason for my decision, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let you all know, is the fact I want to play with a good side this time. New Zealand, Peru, and Ecuador could have possibly been good sides to go to, especially Ecuador because they have a good up and coming side. But, oh, drop the mic. One thing I think we'll benefit from going with the England squad is knowing the players. And we can know for a fact we can buy a lot of English players because we've, we've bought a lot of English players in um, the summer. Like in the window just gone. Eric Dyer's English and Shawcross is English as well. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of, it'll help us out quite a bit with the transfer window. And I know there's a lot of good players in that England squad, such as Morrison from West Ham. Uh, Wilshire is still decent rating as well. I think he's like 82 rated, 83 rated. But anyway, guys, make sure you drop the video like. We'll be very much highly appreciated. Try and smash 200 likes. And that will be pretty amazing. And I want to say thank you very much for your support. And we go 1-0 up against Liverpool. In the FA Cup, so we're playing the FA Cup. We played Liverpool last time. We drew, I think, in the Premier League. But if you want to go check out any previous episodes, the previous episode is in the upper link in the description. And make sure you follow me on Twitter while you're down there. And if you have missed any videos into the series, the series link is at the bottom of the description. And all the other stuff is down there as well. So very much highly appreciate if you go check all those, especially my Twitter page because I'm updating it quite frequently, and my Twitch page, which I'm hoping to try and bash back out a few more streams. It's just the last Christmas, it's around the corner, and uni is coming on to its final few weeks. We're a lot of deadlines are in, so it's kind of difficult to do all this. It's like make videos or stream and do work or make videos and stream. So quite, yeah, I should have picked uh, uh, streaming over uni. But anyway, we get a chance um, with a long ball over the top from kickoff again. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out. It is 1-1. One, one. We do end getting fouled here, but Griffiths on the ball decides to pick it up in the 17th minute now. So second half. Comes in, Griffiths gives it to Levin. Levin goes to the shot. We make it 2-1 in the FA Cup against Liverpool. And I think the FA Cup qu could quite possibly be, be uh, a cup that we could leave with this year. We're yet to leave with any silverware other than the playoffs. Actually, yeah, we won the playoffs last year and we were champions, I think, of League One. So we've done well. Griffiths with man of the match again. Says, so what does I do was send some scouts out as well. So I want to try a different place. Where can I go? We do try Asia. And we send a uh, scout out to Japan. I'm thinking we end up actually sending. Yeah. Do I send a, a scout out to Japan for a total of nine, six months to help us find a technically gifted player? And then we also send out uh, Silver Holt with a five-star experience, three-star judgment um, out to Spain. So we kind of see if we can find ourselves... Um, some Spanish players. It's kind of very off the radar with Japan, and then we kind of come back in with um, Spain because I know for a fact Spain are going to produce some good players, and we funded quite a lot into the scouting system, and we've done well, I think, in my opinion. But anyways, a quick look at the detail before I carry on talking about that. Ten players, 38 points, Everton in 18. Swan City, West Ham, Man City now moving up the table, who we do have later this episode. Um, into 14th place. Here's our side, Caldor, uh, Calador, Dyer, Shawcross, Olsen, Gideon, Levin, Taylor, Solazano, Hoylet and Griffiths playing up front on his home. 4 2 3 one. the same formation Everton is using today. Lukaku, Barkley, the star players, as well as McGeady and Leighton Baines. We have to watch out with Jagielka and Coleman being in the defence. So anyway, we do have kickoff, but as I was mentioning, um, Previously, I actually can't remember what I was mentioning. But anyway, we get a chance here. So does Anna with a goal. With a chance. Good save on the goalkeeper. Uh, Robles there. But anyway, Everton with a chance. So you end up crossing into the count. We do clear it. Leighton Baines. Easy as that. We're playing off side track to try and draw defence forward. And uh, Anna is on the ball now. 200 likes, guys. Can you smash it? Pretty amazing. 20 minutes in. Barkley makes it go 1-0 up against us. 
And I want to mention, I think Bartley could quite possibly be a player that we will actually bring in next season. I think he could, he will, and with him being in the England side and a player that I want, I don't have to send ages for a scout. I can know for a fact what his actual rating is and what his ratings are with my uh, England side. So I'm thinking 4 2 3 1, Bartley playing in the mid, just in the centre. Oh, what a goal, actually, from Solizano to take me off topic. What a finish from the boy, the man, the myth, the legend. The best player I've ever bought in Cremo. Guys, honestly, consider buying him. The Premier League, he's in and out, but the Championship and League One are amazing. I can't imagine what he'd be like in League Two. But this guy is a very, very, very good. He's outgrowing his potential by six. Potential six rating. And he's on 70. What more can I ask for? We get another chance here just before halftime. But Bartley could possibly be playing. This could be our possible lineup for next season. Uh, Griffiths, in, if we end up sitting with a 4 2 3 1 formation, whether we will or not, we'll have to find out. Griffiths up front, up top. Bartley in the camp position. Hide it on the left. And we end up conceding there. And quite possibly Marco Roas on the right-hand side, another right midfielder, or even Carazor, another player, youth player, we could be playing there. But I think he might be loaned out, as I mentioned in the previous episode. He could possibly be loaned out. What a leap of faith from Griffiths over the defender to make it 2-2. 81 minutes gone. We're in the final nine minutes of the game. Eight minutes now, we should say. Hidden minutes and 40 seconds. The ball gets lofted, and what a leap from Griffiths. Um, before I go back on talking about the transfer next season, Griffiths on the ball now, 90th minute, gives the ball to Otsuma, Otsuma cuts in, look at that, slots it into the back, and then 90th minute is a last minute goal against Everton to bag ourselves a win and carry on our absolutely a brilliant form at the moment. We are moving at the table pretty easy and we now level goal difference after this win, if well, if we do end up winning it with a 3-2 victory against Everton and here it is it's not looking good on defence so we have conceded but we're scoring a lot more so our, def our potential team for next year could be uh, Gideon and Levin CDMs maybe never CDM get Gideon playing in the midfield more of an attacking role Hoylet left mid and then Bartley Cam and then uh, Carazo, I think Carazo in the right mid position, but I got a feeling he could be loaned out. But anyway, we have a little squad report for you, so you can have a little interesting inside now. We're improving. Look at our goalkeeper, plus five. Uh, Carador plus four. Dyer and Shawcross are yet to improve, as well as Martin Olsen. Gideon improving as well. Levin improved. Taylor Solizano is up to 70 rated. Griffiths is now 73 rated. And. We do have Carazo, as we mentioned, is improving quite a bit. So I'm thinking we may quite possibly loan him out for next season. But anyway, little update on another squad player. Unfortunately, we can't sign him yet. Goalkeeper. So we've got a lot of goalkeepers coming through our youth system. Um, Shane was in any other position. But I think we're going to be loaning him out next season. Uh, depending on his rating, because I want him to develop anyway. So we'll have to see. But anyway, I decided to go back to reverse fixture and praise my side because we beat Manchester City in the last fixture what an insane result that was we beat them 2-0 at the Etihad Stadium or Manchester the city of Manchester Stadium or whatever you want to call it these days we're currently in eighth place 41 points zero goal difference and we are closing down we're coming down on Spurs let's be honest there and uh, let's have a look at our side Caldor Dyer Shawcross Lemma T Payne is playing Jack is playing um, Taylor's playing, Solzano, Hoyler and Griffiths are the finishing final front four. But anyway, this this side, this side, Aguero, Negredo, Nasri, Torre, Modric, Milner, they've got such an amazing attack line, defence, Mangala's still there as well. Uh, Solzano now with a chance, gets in and blocked, cuts on inside, decides to loft it into Griffiths on the head. And it's just wide of the post, Griffiths getting his headers lately and improving quite a bit into the, um, his ability to score headers. But anyway, Solizano over to Griffiths now. We're ripping apart Manchester City. We are the underdogs of the league, and we're doing pretty well. But we're getting flopped, and not much more we could do there. Um, just before the second half now, 14 minutes gone. Junior Hoylet using that pace. Gets past one, gets past two. Can he get down this line? And there it is, open up, shoots near post. And I've noticed, right, near post is actually overpowered again this year because the AI was doing it to me, right? Liverpool have done it. Many other players at teams have done it against me. I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for the shot. There's no other options. I thought, even if it goes out, it goes out for a corner. 
and we end up scoring. Second half now, we're 1-0 up against Manchester City, and uh, they do end up getting a chance here to uh, John Cadetti, and what a off the post, and it's over the bar. I think John Cadetti could quite possibly be a player that we bring in. If he's not starting for Man City, we could bring him in as a replacement player for us. A shot here from Hoylet, and it's still, unfortunately, a what? well, unfortunately, yeah, it's 1-0 to us, um, but uh, Manchester City in the 75th minute, doing again free kick, right in short cross there, with the foul on Silva. I thought it was a bit harsh that that was given, in my opinion, but what more can I do? Silva steps up, I think. We got T Payne trying to get on the line, and it's into the back of the net. It's 1 1. Manchester City with the goal. David Silva with the finish. It's into the back of the net, making it 1 1. Final whistle has blown, and we leave that game dropping two points after dominating it. But that's the end of the episode, guys. I want to say thank you very much for watching. Make sure you drop the video like. We're in eighth place on 42 points, five points behind fifth. Can we get Europe for football? Subscribe then.